Hi, my name is Jackson Reynolds. I'm Graham Turner. I'm Alex Marsden. I'm Ben Burgett. And I'm Tyler Davis. And we're here to talk to you about why we think the University of Mississippi should implement a transit service for commuters. So, the problem. Many students are faced with the task of commuting from the commuter lots directly to campus in a timely manner. Many students can't do this efficiently and thus take about 30 minutes to walk from <coughs> the commuter lots to campus, let alone if they decide to carpool, that takes around 23 minutes, which is a great investment of time and especially if students are running late, they can't afford to do spend 30 minutes walking or 20 minutes carpooling. They need to get there faster and we believe we came up with a solution to how. So the solution, we believe that the University of Mississippi should implement a transit service routing from the commuter lots directly to campus. Uh, in a student survey, we found out about 74% of students that walk to campus take around 30 minutes. That is a great deal of time and it is dangerous, especially if students are running late, that they can't walk, they can't walk too quickly because it's physically impossible. And we all, in that same survey, we found out that around 68% of commuters uh, that carpool will take around 25 minutes. And that is also a large investment of time. And we figured that since the average bus time is around 15 minutes, we could reduce the walking time for commuters by half if we implement the service for them. So the customer segment that we're targeting here is specifically commuters, and that applies to faculty, students, and anyone even in park and ride. And this would require basically people commuting to campus and taking either a bus or a golf cart to their class. Um, anyone who parks far away from where they work or where they go to class would benefit from this service, and even those that park fairly close would reduce their time substantially. Most of the people that would be using this would be commuters, but it could also be applied to anyone trying to get across campus fairly quickly. You could cut the time in half for commuting from south of campus to north. So the channels. This would be operated directly through the parking department, which already operates many buses on its own. Um, this would consist of golf carts and buses traveling around campus and the surrounding areas picking up any form of commuter that's parking and expecting to go to campus. Um, this would be implemented through an additional $50 fee added to your tuition, which would cover the costs of additional buses, um, golf carts, and uh, salaries for people who operate them. Um, students would benefit from reduced commute times and as with faculty and anyone else commuting. This would cut the time in half. The parking department would benefit from increased revenues and increased efficiency amongst commuting, which would reduce traffic and overall campus congestion. I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the unique value proposition. This service will allow students and teachers who park in commuter lots to be transported to any building on campus more efficiently and more quickly. This transit service will ultimately eliminate the stress that students and teachers go through when trying to navigate their way across campus. Um, students and teachers will see this to be beneficial because um, it would reduce the amount of times that they're late uh, for class. Um, for this project, we um, conducted a survey on some of the students at University of Ole Miss. And um, for this survey, we stationed outside of the commuter lots for five days and interviewed, or then surveyed 20 people each day. Um, from those results, 93% of the students would use the service if it were available to them. Um, we also found out that 81% of the students would be willing pay a small fee for the service. One of the biggest questions probably by implementing a bus transit service here is how to create revenue. 
Um, advertisement is going to be our main key. For nonprofit organizations, we're going to give 50% discount every time they want to uh, put an advertisement on our bus or golf cart. A uh, nonprofit organization is companies and organizations who receive zero revenue through their company. Um, churches uh, and political organizations will not be considered nonprofit organizations. Um, a public servant announcement, ways to spread the word around campus, um, voting registrations, class signups, football games, charity donations is another way the school can set out public service announcements. And that will be a two-month or one-month announcement for a cheap price of $20 for the ad. Um, this is our cost structure for a full bus and half bus. Right now, for uh, 12 months, we're charging $5 a month uh, for a full bus, 3 for a half bus. For um, 6 to 11 months, it's 7 and 4 with a full bus and half bus. And then for 1 to 5 months, it's 10 to $5. So the unfair advantage that our product has over other products is that we have a constant supply of consumers from the students that have to get to class all, every day and park in the commuting lots and have a long way to walk. The cost can be added to the BART bursar through tuition, so it may be paid by scholarships or students' parents, or oftentimes not by students, which makes students more likely to sign up for it as it would not come directly out of their pockets. Also, this would allow us to spread messages throughout campus easily with the advertising and the revenue stream would help supplement our costs and possibly even give us an income. So as a summary, the problem of the commuters and the long time they have to travel presented us with a problem and an opportunity for a business. We believe that creating a system of buses and golf carts to take people from the lots to their classes will help improve the quality of life and just improve the University of Mississippi in general, relieving congestion and traffic and just avoiding any potential problems that could bring with it. The students would be indicated their interest in it in a poll which indicated to us that it would be a viable service if it were released and many people would take advantage of it. So we believe that it is a good business model and has a lot of interest and opportunity and we thank you for your time and hope you